Welcome to Storytime with Herbal Root Seed. I'm Christine Brown, and today I'm going to read to you the story from issue number 35, Cuckoo or Clove. Now, clove is probably an herb that you're familiar with, and you might have even made a little pomander out of an orange or a tangerine using the cloves that look like little spikes. And you put that into the orange and it smells amazing. It has the scent of this, the citrus from the orange, but it also has the spiciness from the cloves. You could also put this into a pot that has apple cider in it and steep that for a while and it will imbue those flavors into the apple cider as well. Now you may not know this, but this little bitty clove is actually a flower bud that's been dried. And that's what gives us that spicy aroma. Clove is used for a lot of things. You might have even chewed on a clove if you had a toothache. Um, it's also a really great antiviral to help kill off germs of colds and flus. And it's really good for our digestion too. So that's just a few things we use clove for. Today, I'm going to read you a story called Mishki's Discovery. Many thousands of years ago, the Malaku Islands were bursting with life. The natives lived on the mountainous and volcanic islands, enjoying the warm, wet climate and tropical plants. The air was heady from the scents of all those blossoming flowers. The natives loved their plants and found ways to use them in their everyday life. They found uses for nutmeg and mace, cocoa and coffee, and many lush fruits, incorporating them into their food and medicine. Many plants they had yet to find a use for. One such tree was the clove tree at the time, the tree had not yet been named, but was known as the red flower tree. Being in the tropics, this lush tree was always green and produced multitudes of small flowers, which started out green, then turned a brilliant red. Mishki was a little girl who lived near a grove of red flower trees. Every morning on her way to the stream to collect some water and wash up, she would pause near the trees and breathe in their delightful scent. Mmm, she thought out loud to herself. If only I could bottle that scent. She tried everything to preserve that smell, but just could not do it. She collected flowers in full bloom and covered them in water. She tried adding them in oils to preserve them, but nothing would hold the scent. One day, the sky darkened and a tropical storm blew up over the islands. The people fled to the caves up in the mountains for protection and stayed there several days while the storm battered the islands. As Mishki and her family headed up the mountainside, she broke a few handfuls of red flower tree flower buds from the trees, hoping the scent would make her feel safe during their asylum. She placed the flower buds in a basket and carefully covered them with a piece of cloth. Once they were in the caves, the people hurried about setting up camp to make themselves secure and comfortable while they rode out the storm. Mishki took one final whiff and set her basket of flower buds on the shelf for safekeeping. Every night before going to sleep, she would smell the flowers for comfort. A few days later, the storm wore itself out and the seas became calm again. The people peeked out from their temporary homes to view the villages below. Their homes were gone and many trees and plants lay shredded all around, but they rejoiced because they were safe and protected. And so they made their way back down to the mountainside to begin rebuilding their homes. Mishki grabbed her basket of red flower buds from the shelf and hurried after her family. When they got to the spot where their home had been, she set it aside to help tidy up the area and began building the new home. She didn't notice as a breeze blew the cloth covering her basket, leaving the red flower buds in full sunlight. A few days later, 
Their new homes were built and they began moving their bedding and few remaining belongings into the home. Mishki saw her basket and hurried over to retrieve it. Peering inside of it, she noticed her red flower buds had turned brown and shriveled up. She picked one up with her fingers, noticing the clavish shape that had formed. She smelled it and a huge smile lit up her face as she inhaled the fragrance of the dried bud where it had remained. She put the dried bud in her mouth and chewed on it. Her eyes got big as her tongue turned numb. She ran off and showed her family her discovery. Excited in what she had discovered, they began harvesting the flower buds that had been blown from the trees and placed them in baskets in the sun. Marveling over the shape of the dried flower bud, they began to call the tree chinka, which means clove or clavis in the Latin name for nail. The natives began using their chinkas for cooking and medicine, finding all sorts of uses. Mishki, ever searching for a way to preserve the scent, stuck the chinkas into mandarins and enjoyed the scent in her home every day. I hope you enjoyed today's story. If you'd like to learn more about clove, you can check out the ebook in my store and I'll put a link down below in the description. Thanks for visiting Herbal Roots Scene for story time, and I'll see you next time.